Hi, this is Ravi Bevaport with Torah Wisdom to Go. We find ourselves in such a special time. Hashem is closer to us than ever. In these 10 days between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, Ha'azinu, listen closely. This week's Torah portion, Ha'azinu, Moshe calls upon the heaven and earth in the final moments, hours of his life, to be your testimony to God's everlasting bond with the Jewish people. My heavens, what on earth? Heaven and earth? Why them? Ha'azinu ha'shamayi v'adabera v'tishma ha'aretz imrefi. Hearken heaven and earth. Moshe turns to them and says, You exist forever. And therefore, you can testify to the authenticity, validity of this everlasting bond. And you can execute reward and punishment, send your rains, bless the land and the produce, or God forbid withhold and cause mass destruction. And here unfolds the beautiful poetic song of Hazinu. And it speaks of Hashem's boundless love for the Jewish people through thick and thin. Sadly, so much of this ballad speaks of the waywardness of the Jewish nation and the calamities that befall them. Because though God provides for them so much over and over again, the Jewish people are ungrateful. Provoke him, turn astray, and even serve strange gods. This Hazinu is divided into six segments. And during the time of the temple, the Levites would sing one segment every Shabbat, thereby concluding the whole Parsha in six-week cycles. And this served as a reminder to reflect on the history, on our history and its mishaps, and to cherish our relationship with God and keep returning to Him. And some weeks the entire portion read would only describe rebuke and heart-wrenching punishments, retribution, and the anger of Hashem. As it says, you have kindled my fury, my wrath, and my fury like fire will destroy your land and its produce. But Hashem continues, my anger is short-lived. And those who have harmed you, I will avenge. How can this all possibly be called a song? Doesn't a song conjure in your mind free-spiritedness, gaiety, serenity? But it is a song. And it's actually classified as one of the nine songs that the Jewish people sang throughout our history. When they just, their hearts burst Fourth, in gratitude to God. The first one being Adam, first man created, soon after he was created, turned to all of God's creations and said, Let us prostrate ourselves before our Maker. And so Hazina was a song. And the Rebbe, Lubavitcher Rebbe, reminds us through the trials, sufferings, vicissitudes of life. This is our song. Hold on to it because Hashem shares this song with us. And this is your song, my song, our personal history. Through, through all the phases of life, the embarrassments, the struggles, the failures, the successes, all of it intertwined into one medley of songs. Let's embrace it all. Take all of our songs and bring them together and ask our conductor, the conductor of our choir, to bring us back to that original choir with the rebuilding of the third temple so we can all sing together in joy and gratitude with the Levites. What a thought it will be. 
And our takeaway, of course, every day, keep a song in your heart. Even if you have to dance in the rain, keep singing. And you know, I'm going to say, as always, the Torah speaks so personally to me and to you. Gemar Hatima Tova, an incredible year ahead.